Hey, we have first alert days in place uh, Tuesday afternoon, extending all the way through Thursday, and we just did get some more updates here from the National Weather Service on uh, some of the alerts to get to you tonight here. So we have winter weather advisories again, two different phases. So the first phase will have a winter weather advisory, and I do think eventually for the second phase round two moving in by Wednesday night into Thursday, we'll have a winter storm warning in effect for that. So winter weather advisory in effect Tuesday 3 p.m. until 6 a.m. on Wednesday. That is for all areas in purple. That's where we expect some snow fall accumulations coming up Tuesday, extending into into Wednesday. We still have a winter storm warnings in effect for Goodhue, Steele and Freeborn counties. That will mainly be for that secondary event. Speaking of that secondary event, here are the current alerts for Wednesday afternoon all the way through Thursday. So again, two different setups here. We have winter storm watches in all areas in blue. That includes all of the KTTC viewing area. And then we have a couple of those winter storm warnings that I just mentioned for I-35 and then into Goodhue County. That low pressure system is still well to the west. It will track in coming up and again. That's the main weather maker for Wednesday and Thursday. The combination is some strong winds and some really heavy snowfall. So here's a breakdown of what to expect. Round number one is Tuesday afternoon into Wednesday morning. That's where we have the winter weather advisory in effect about two to five, maybe close to six inches in some spots, maybe close to Goodhue County will be possible with round number one. We'll have a break. So it's not snowing consistently the entire Tuesday afternoon through Thursday evening. We will have a break Wednesday morning. Snow and wind will increase throughout the afternoon on Wednesday. And then that's round number two, Wednesday afternoon through Thursday. That's where we can have 12 plus inches of snowfall, maybe locally up to 15, say 16 inches in some isolated spots with some gusts approaching 25 to 40 miles per hour. Rural areas, if you're on the interstates and highways, maybe some whiteout blizzard like conditions with those really strong winds. So we factor that all together and we have our winter storm impact. So all the way through Tuesday afternoon, extending through Thursday, we have major impacts for all areas in red, including extreme impacts in areas in purple. That would be through Marshall into Redwood Falls, even towards the metro towards Minneapolis. So we're expecting some pretty bad impacts all across Minnesota and some portions of Iowa. Let's just specifically look at travel impacts here locally through this two round system. So round number one, Tuesday morning low. I think we're good tomorrow morning. We might actually see some sunshine throughout the day. Some minor impacts probably Tuesday afternoon or Tuesday afternoon and Wednesday morning. Overnight we could have some blowing and drifting snow as winds start to increase. Round number two moves in. That's where we have those high impacts. So we're looking at likely for that to at least likely to moderate impacts Wednesday afternoon. The winds and heavy snowfall start to approach and we're looking at high if not getting close to that extreme, especially in some rural areas. So here's future track here tonight. Notice, remember, low impacts tomorrow morning and maybe some sunshine, but cold temperatures will start off in the single digits. Here comes that first wave of some snowfall by three to four o'clock and we will continue with the snow through the overnight hours. Break in the action then early Wednesday morning as that snow moves to the north. We might even be dry by about noon, but here comes that round number two. And I want to take note too, because I haven't even talked about it since we have such uh, extreme snowfall amounts. We might have the chance for some wintry mixing, especially right along Highway 18 in northern Iowa. Now we're talking about maybe ice and snow mixed in across our area with this. That darker blue all the way through into Thursday is right through about Rochester towards Red Wing for Goodhue County. So some strong winds and some strong snowfall totals. Let's break it up into two halves here. That first round again, about three to five inches of snowfall will be possible through Wednesday morning. Then we go all the way through Thursday and notice we have the red here for 12 plus inches of snowfall. We could even have some isolated 18 plus in some spots. And I think that's trending closer towards about Minneapolis uh, for those really heavy to heavy snowfall totals with this system. Again, you can always track everything. We have the latest snowfall forecasts, everything you need to know for this two round system here 
All you have to do is scan that QR code right there on your screen. You can get our snowfall forecast. We'll have road conditions on there too. That's our free Weather Authority mobile app. We'll take a look outside here. Lewis and that a live camera tonight. Temperatures will be dropping down into the single digits here. We are clear and it feels like three because winds are strong outside currently. Temperatures here tonight, eight for that overnight low. Winds anywhere from 15 to 25. Tomorrow, maybe a couple peaks of sunshine in the morning, and then we have that first round of snow starting to move in through the afternoon and evening. First alert days in place Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and then we have some cold temperatures on the way for Friday. We're looking at highs just at about 14. Guys.